It's whey protein from vitamin whey. Redundancy defined. Hey, it's Brian Lee back with another review you can use. And here we have Vitamin Whey up again. Now, I've previously reviewed their pre and post workout. I'll put links below. Uh, so I'm not, and I really wasn't enthusiastic about those products, so I really don't know what I was expecting from this. So we have the chocolate, uh, chocolate dream and the vanilla, uh, French vanilla uh, flavors, supposedly. So the scoop is... Um, 80.3 well 80.3 grams is the uh, serving size but you're supposed to do three scoops and then you'll get 60 grams of protein if I remember correctly so it's 20 grams per, per scoop uh, giving uh, whatever I don't feel like doing the math in my head 20 some odd um, not quite 30 so 27 grams I guess per scoop which isn't bad considering uh, so there's very little filler here there's a lot of branched chain amino acids it is gluten free it says tastes great, but you know, I guess if you're used to really crappy protein powders, this thing, this stuff will taste great. If you're used to stuff that tastes great, this is not going to be good. I don't know if this was supposed to be like an all natural. Optimum Nutrition makes an all natural line that the taste is really subdued. It's kind of it takes a bit to get used to. It's very watery when you mix it. Uh, this is similar, except it's not as good as that. Um, but basically, I was out of protein powder. I needed something, and uh, I needed something to hold me over. So the branched chain complex, you know, two two one one uh, ratios there. So if you're used to store, you know, kind of your store brand, this is going to be better. Um, this stuff's better than the six star uh, casein protein I've already reviewed. But overall, this is really a full on skip unless you have no other choice. Uh, I think it's like two grams of sugar, well, four grams of sugar for three scoops. So we'll say one and a third for a, for each scoop, and that's part of it too. It does not; have, it's not loaded with sucralose. The chocolate you can barely tell these apart when you pour them out. The chocolate's barely chocolate. Uh, this really, to me, this protein really wants to be in something else. So you can make smoothies with it, and you're not going to overpower. So let's say you do a bunch of fruit, but you want some vanilla, maybe some chocolate, whatever. Or you want some protein spike in there. This will get you there. Uh, it's okay by itself. Taste-wise, I give it about a six, maybe a six and a half, about a six on mixability. In a shaker cup, it mixes okay-ish but you really gotta shake it hard, and I usually have to uh, rinse a little bit more in there to get it all out. Um, it's just not that good a protein tasting. Um, you know, I, I don't have any blood tests or anything like that to see how much protein I'm actually getting, and if these are all grass-fed sources or anything like that, don't have any information. But if you're looking for a protein that has very mild, and I mean very mild flavors, because you wanna mix them with other things, these may actually be your ticket they may be, because there's not a lot of filler. Uh, there's very little extra stuff. There's no creatine. There's none of that other crap. There's not blasts of sugar, not a lot of sucralose. But I don't think there's any sucralose at all. Um, but, uh, you know, the other ingredients, uh, there is uh, milk and soy in here. I don't know how much soy. I think some, there's some soy for, for, for to get a little bit of texture to it. Um, but it's supposed to be milk for the most, it's supposed to be whey protein. So, you know, 20 grams per scoop, which is go about average, uh, without a lot of extra stuff and very little flavor. But hey, if you're going to go mix this with, you know, bananas and, and, and yogurt and walnuts and your nuts and peanut butter and a bunch of other things, and you just want a mild flavor, <coughs> this is, but this might be what you're looking for. I, if you have the money, I would rather recommend the Optimum Nutrition Natural line because you're not going to get added sugars, you're not going to get added uh, sweeteners, and you're going to get a very mild flavor there. And I would that would be a much better quality protein. But if you're on a budget and you just need something to get a little extra protein in your diet because of whatever reason, uh, but you want it mild, you want it very subtle, this is going to be uh, something to maybe take a look at and, and try. But don't expect, but if you're, you know, this this flavor is very subdued. So if it's a, if that's what they're going for, then this is like a seven and a half. 
if they're going for great flavor, which this doesn't have, then yeah, they're really missing the boat. But I have had a lot worse. So that's why a six, six and a half is not generous. It's about where it is. And that's about where this whole line of, of products has been. Other things that I've tried, the pre-workout, the post-workout, about six, six and a half. It, they don't mix well and other things. Um, but again, it's like if it's all you can afford, go for it. But if you can save your money for a couple more weeks, go for a much better product. All right, thanks for clicking like, thanks for sharing the videos, and we will see you next time. Bye. Hey, it's Brian Late back with another review.